Hello boys and girls, welcome to Kids Connection. My name is Audrey Zorik. I am the director of Kids Connection here at Vallejo Drive Church, a place where we learn how to connect with each other and with God. I am so happy that you joined us today. And if this is your first time, I wanna welcome you and let you know that we have programs like this every week. Come back for more programs where we can worship God together. And if you are a regular, I wanna welcome you back. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm so happy that we get to spend this time together. Without further ado, welcome to another Kids Connection program. Now, I miss you guys so much as I cannot get tired of saying, and I wish you guys were here. But since you're not here, I'm glad that you join us online. Worshiping together, no matter where we are, if we are online, if we are here at Kids Connection, at least we are worshiping God. And God deserves to be worshiped because he is amazing, isn't he? Now, I hope that you guys are home safe with mom, dad, or with grandparents. And I hope that everyone is safe. And I pray for your safety every day. Believe it or not, it's been about a month and a half since we've been doing this. That's a long time. It was even before school started. It was actually just before spring break. We went on spring break. We came back from spring break. We are in school now, in classes, online. And here we are still having Kids Connection online. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, to get another Kids Connection pro program started, we're going to sing our song of the day. And our song of the day is just the beginning of this adventure that I'm taking you on today. An adventure. I love adventures. Yes, you heard it right. I'm going to take you in an, on an adventure that hopefully it'll, it'll bring good memories to you. All right? But before we get to that adventure, let's go ahead and sing our song of the day together. Stand up, mom, dad, everyone, let's sing it. Yes, that was fun. And I remember singing the song with you guys right here at Kids Connection. Everyone was jumping around and doing all the motions. Even Kid was here with us. That was awesome. Hopefully we get to do that very soon again. Now let's bow our heads so we can talk to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for another beautiful Sabbath. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your love. Thank you because all the boys and girls are watching this program at home. Bless them. Keep them safe. Keep mom and dad safe and grandparents and everyone safe. And hopefully we can come back to Kids Connection and to Vallejo Drive Church soon so we can worship God together. Bless this program as we learn more about you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Wonderful. Now, speaking of worshiping God, how would you feel if we were in Kids Connection 
or if we were inside the church and all of a sudden someone was throwing rocks on top of the building and making all kinds of noises. How would you feel about that? Hmm. Would you feel uh, scared? <gasps> What's happening? Or would you feel angry? Why are they throwing rocks on top of the church? Why don't they just let us worship? In today's story, you're going to hear something just like that. But the, the story doesn't end there. It has a twist. Pay attention to what happened to our missionary story today. I used to hate the Adventists. If they had evangelistic series, I would throw stones on the roof. One day, Sihalava watched as many beautiful young ladies walked into the Avenus meetings. An idea popped into his head. I need a good wife, he thought. Maybe I can find one here. He entered the meeting and sitting in the back surveyed his options. One girl stood out to him and after the meeting he introduced himself. I didn't tell her about my bad past and I started praying to impress her. We were married soon after, but instead of marriage and a beautiful wife fixing my problems, things got worse. Sihalavo had a criminal record which caught up to him and after being found guilty of murder, he was placed on the most wanted list. Realizing his situation, Sihalavo fled to a remote forest. He lived here for four years. I was living like an animal in the woods. I had made a mess of my life and felt like there was no hope for me. Like the prodigal son who realized he had nothing to lose, Sihalavo ventured out of the forest. Knowing his family had surely abandoned him, he went to the Seventh-day Adventist Church. An elder met him and assured Sihalavo that his place was in the church and he was always welcome. These words brought a glimmer of hope to his heart. Though the church elder was very welcoming, the other members avoided me. My past began to haunt me again, and in fear, I returned to the woods. But this time, Sihalavo took something with him to the woods, a radio. This was his only connection to the outside world, and he listened eagerly to different programs. One day, he stumbled across an AWR broadcast. The words stirred his soul, and he began to fall in love with the Jesus who would forgive a sinner like him. Excited about his new friend Jesus, Sihalavo began inviting other thieves and criminals in the area to come and hear the AWR programs too. Convinced of their salvation through the blood of Jesus, Sihalavo and 15 other ex-criminals came out of the woods and were baptized into the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Together with my friends who were once thieves, we built a church where we all worshiped together on Sabbath. Today, Sihalavo also leads out in a small group study where they listen to AWR programs and pray together. Sihalavo preaches like John the Baptist wherever he goes and is often called apostle by those who know him. AWR changed my life. Through it, I found forgiveness and hope. How crazy was that? 
I loved this story and how his life got turned around. All because of Jesus' love and how the people and the missionaries of that place was able to share God's love with him. Isn't it incredible what the missionaries are doing? But they can only do that if we help them with our financial support. Don't forget to ask mom and dad to click on the link above here and ask them to donate to the missionaries. Thank you for your offering. Now, today, as I promised, I'm going to be taking you on an adventure. How can we go on an adventure together? Well, here's how. The adventure that I'm going to take you on is right here at Vallejo Drive Church in a Kids Connection. How are we going to do that? Well, here it is. Do you guys remember Kids Connection? Do you remember this place? Do you remember all the kids playing together? Look at the rugs. Look at the puppet stage. Do you remember all the rugs on the floor and how we all chase each other and we play together? Oh, here. Here's something else. See that? Right now we don't have a game because you guys are not here. But look. This is Kids Connection. The place where we connected with each other. The place where we had fun together. The place where mom and dad brought you every Sabbath. Remember this? Remember that mom and dad were sitting back here on these chairs as they were waiting for you to finish your, your uh, program here at Kids Connection and then go to your classrooms? Wait, speaking of classrooms, yes, that's part of my adventure. Let's go ahead. I'm going to take you to your classrooms. And here's the first classroom that I'm taking you to. Remember this classroom? Yes, this is Miss Teresa's classroom. All the tiny tots. Here's your classroom. Do you guys miss this classroom? Do you miss being here? Do you miss playing with your friends and watching uh, the program that Miss Teresa prepared for you every Sabbath? Well, here it is. Here's your classroom. And it's got nobody in it. This classroom is waiting for you. This classroom is here. All the chairs are empty. The teacher is not here, just us. But this is a special place for you. And this classroom is going to be here until this coronavirus goes away, until all this madness goes away. And then we can come here and we can watch Miss Teresa have the program on Sabbath morning and sing with you guys and have the pianos play. Look at that, the piano is right there and nobody's playing it. This place is empty, but this place is waiting for you. This place is ready for you to come back. And we're hoping that will be soon. Now, I'm gonna take you to your next classroom. Okay, our next stop is the kindergarten room. Do you guys remember this place? Yes, look at this. Look at all the chairs. Look at where the teacher sits. Look at your birthdays on the wall. Look at all the posters. Look at the signs and everything. Look at the empty chairs. The empty chairs are still here. That's your place right there. Do you remember where you used to sit? Well, I got news for you. Your chair is still here and your chair is waiting for you. As soon as this is over, you are going to be welcome in this classroom, just like before, where we get to worship God together, where we sing and where we praise and where, where we learn more about Jesus. This place is here and it's waiting for you. Do you miss this place? I miss seeing you here. Let's see what our next room is. And our next stop is primaries. That's right, primary. Look at your classroom. Look at all your cubbies. Look at your signs on the walls with your names. Look at where the teacher sat and taught you lessons. Look at your chairs. Look at the tables where you did all your activities. Everything is here still in place and it's waiting just for you do you guys miss this place i hope so 
I miss seeing you here. And remember, very soon you're going to be here again and you're going to be participating of the classroom and listening to the story of your teacher right here in this classroom. Let's go to your, see what's next. Yes, our next stop is juniors. Juniors, you guys remember this class? Some of you already graduated to juniors while you were out on quarantine. When you come back, you're going to be in this classroom. Look at this. This classroom is ready for you guys. This classroom misses you guys. I miss seeing you in this classroom. Remember where Mr. Michael sits to teach you the lesson and where you have your activities on this table right here? Here we are. Welcome to Juniors. This classroom is not the same without you. And hopefully, you're going to be here soon. In the meantime, we just keep enjoying our classrooms online. And hopefully, you are receiving that connection that we are hoping that you receive. And you learn a little bit about God every Sabbath. And you learn how to connect with God a little bit more. Mm. Do we have another classroom? Yes, we do. Surprise, surprise. I'm going to take you to our last classroom. Let's go. And here we are. Welcome to our last classroom that we visit today. This is the beginners. This is where the little babies gather and worship God. And this classroom too is empty. Look at this. Nobody's here. The program that the teachers used to make here every Sabbath are being presented online, just like your program. And the babies, they're home with their parents. They are learning about God at home. And their classroom, too, is empty. With the empty chairs. You see this? But don't worry, because very soon, all these chairs are going to be filled with babies and parents. And some of the babies that were coming here, again, are not going to be here. They're going to be in a different classroom because they're growing. But the important thing is, what are we doing? What are you doing while we are in quarantine? Are you still worshiping God? Are you going to school? Are you helping mom and dad in the house? What are you doing? I can't wait for you guys to be here and for us to worship God together. Now, let's go back to Kids Connection. Now, here we are back at Kids Connection. Remember the table? Remember the welcoming? And where all the youth were here helping you guys and, and giving you hugs every week? Well, we're back at our Kids Connection place. Here it is. And look for you guys, for you. Remember this place. This place is waiting for you. This place is waiting for you to come and worship God here again. We are going to be so happy to have you all back. And we're going to have a special program when we get to worship together again here at Kids Connection. Now, why am I showing you all this? What does this have to do with our lesson today, this adventure? Well, this adventure that we are having here at Kids Connection is an adventure that I want you to have. Do you know why? Because in our classroom today, we are going to learn about an adventure, an adventure that we are in now. What adventure is this? Well, guess what? Jesus came to earth and he died. He resurrected and he went to heaven. However, he is in heaven preparing a place for you. And you know what? That place in heaven is ready for you. That place in heaven is ready for you and I. Now, just like the quarantine, we are stuck at home. We are here on earth. 
We are not in heaven yet, but in today's classroom, we are going to learn what we are going to be doing while we are in this earth. What are we supposed to do? What are you doing while we wait for Jesus to come and take us home? But before we do that, I'm going to invite you guys to stand up again and sing our song of the day one more time. Let's sing it together. Thank you so much for singing with us again. And thank you for being a part of our program online. Thank you for being a part of Kids Connection. And thank you for waiting for us. This place is waiting for you. Kids Connection is waiting to celebrate, worship God together in this place with you. The same way that we are waiting to worship God in heaven with him. Let's pray as we close our program for today. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for being our God. Thank you so much for your sacrifice. I ask that now that we are going to listen to our story in our classrooms, teacher. I, I ask that you help us to understand the story and to understand what your plan is for us on this earth. Thank you for heaven. Thank you for salvation. And thank you for being our God. Bless each child. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Great. Don't forget, tomorrow we have Kid to Kid at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. This afternoon, parents are welcome to our Parents Connection, where we get to talk to each other and see how everybody's doing. Now, don't forget to check all the activities on the bottom of our page here, where it gets updated with new activities every week. And I want to tell you guys, and I want to ask you guys something. I want to hear from you. I want to hear from the kids. So if you could ask mom and dad to help all the kids write an email to us. Let us know how you are. Send an email to the church, vallejo at graceunconditional.com. Write a little note how you're doing. We want to hear from you. And next week, I'm going to read it up here, the story that you write us. I want to hear from you. Are you enjoying the programs at home? Are you enjoying the activities? What are you doing? How is your school? How are you helping mom and dad? Are you, did, you, did you get a new pet? Did you guys uh, make, new, make new friends online? 
Are you guys enjoying our kid to kid program? Which by the way, last week we had some technical issues and we couldn't connect the Zoom, but tomorrow we're gonna be on with kid to kid and have another game for you guys. But I wanna hear from you. I want to see how you're doing and I'm going to read some of those depending on how many of you write us. I won't be able to read them all on on this program, but next week I'm, I promise that I'm going to be uh, I'm going to read some of your comments and how you're doing. So have mom and dad help you write that email to Vallejo at graceunconditional.com and I'm going to read those emails in the air tomorrow uh, next Sabbath here at Kids Connection. Thank you so much for being a part of another Kids Connection program. I hope you enjoyed it. Now here comes your teacher's lessons. So don't go anywhere. And by the way, I want to thank all the teachers. I want to thank, thank Miss Josie that helps with the beginners. I want to thank Miss Teresa that helps with the tiny tots. I want to thank Miss Kelly that helps with um, kindergarten as along with Miss uh, Patty and also Mr. Robert and also primary with Miss Kathleen and uh, all the teachers have been great. Thank you so much for all your, your hard work and I hope that you guys are enjoying, um, the kids are enjoying the program as well. Uh, we're planning to do something a little bit different on the next upcoming program. So let your friends know about this program. Let your friends know about what we have here at Kids Connection. Invite them to be a part of our program and I can't wait to have you guys right here at our Kids Connection program. Until next Sabbath, I will see you guys. Bye-bye, be good, and be safe. Bye-bye. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? I hope that quite a few of you are right, are right here with me, and I'd like to welcome Sunny, and Rio, and Gia, Amy, and Cameron, Aiden, Benjamin, Carlina, and Sammy, Max, and Vita, Janie, and Jax, and Caitlin, Josiah, Vashti, Arian, and Moses, Will, Nicholas, Luke, and John, and Andrea. I hope you're all watching, and if you're not, you can talk to your friends and say, Miss Teresa said hi to all of you. I hope you're having a good week this week. Our Sabbath school, we've been talking for several weeks about how Jesus came to this earth and how he preached and he taught and he raised people from the dead and he healed their sicknesses, how he came into Jerusalem as the humble king and how he was He came into Jerusalem as the humble king. He was the crucified king. He is the risen king, and he is the commanding king. This week, we're going to talk about the returning king. I want to talk to you about the time after Jesus came out of the tomb. He stayed on this earth for another 40 days, and he gave his friends a command, which means that he asked them to do something, and that was to tell everyone how much he loves us and that he has died on the cross to save us from our sins. Well, one day, Jesus and his friends went out onto the hillside. As he was talking to his disciples on the hillside, they were astonished to see him suddenly start rising up into the sky. He kept going up and up and up until he became so small that he disappeared from their sight. Until he disappeared from their sight. They didn't know what happened. Where did he go? While they were still standing there staring up into the sky, they noticed two angels were standing near them. And the angels said, you just saw your savior go up into the sky. In this same way, he will return and take you home to be with him. Wow, they were so excited. They had asked him a lot of questions about this 
and now they had seen it for themselves. Now I want to talk to you about what will happen at that time. Jesus has said that there are some things that we will not see when we get to heaven. And I have in this bag something to help us to remember what those are. So let's take a look at this. Here's a bag, and I have this in here. What do you think these are? Yes, these are tissues. Sometimes we need them when we cry. Jesus has said there will be no more crying in heaven. There will be nothing to make us sad. Now, take a look and see what this is. Yes, this is a bottle of medicine to help us when we're sick, if we have pain or fever. Do you know what Jesus said in heaven? There will be no more pain, no more sickness. So we will need this medicine. And... I have a flashlight in here. What do you think this represents? Do you think we will need a flashlight in heaven? No, because God has said there will be no darkness in heaven. Wow, that's amazing. One more thing that I have in this bag is this. What do you think this is? Yes, it was beautiful tulips, and now they're dead. God has said in heaven, there will be no more death. And that includes flowers. It includes animals. It includes people. There will be no death in heaven. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told his disciples and all of his friends, that he was going to heaven to prepare a place for them. And if he went to heaven, he would come back and take them to be where he was. What a wonderful promise. Now, Jesus' disciples had some questions for him, maybe some of the same questions you have. When will Jesus come back again? Well, Jesus said that no one knows except for God the Father. Not him or not even the angels know when he will return. But Jesus has said that everyone will know about him before he comes back. Now, how will he come back? Well, he will come in the clouds just as he left. He won't come secretly as a little baby. This time, everybody will know that he is here. The angels will blow their loud trumpets and Everyone on earth will see him. Well, who is Jesus coming to get? Well, he's coming to get you and me. We have to be ready though. Some people don't really expect him to come, so they probably won't be ready, but we have to do our part to make sure that they know. They may think they have plenty of time to get right with Jesus, but they won't expect him, and then it will be too late. When Jesus comes back, all of his followers will go to heaven with him. And why is he coming back? He wants to restore this whole world to look like it did when he first created it. And he will come back to rule the world. There will be no more sin or death. He will be lifted up as a king, and we will worship him forever. Well, how can we get ready to go with him? We are to be pure. That means we need to keep our minds pure, not watch things that we shouldn't watch and not play games that we shouldn't play. We should always be kind and loving, not use words that we shouldn't use. We are to be patient. We are reminded that we don't know when Jesus will come back, but we need to be ready and have our hearts be ready. When you, when you have bad things going on, you can remember that Jesus is coming and he will make everything right. No one knows when Jesus will return, but we know that he will come back just as he promised. God said at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and everyone 
will proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. And that comes from Philippians 2, verses 10 and 11. Let's say that again. God said that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and everyone will proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Philippians 2, verses 10 and 11. One more time, give it a try. We've been saying this for a few weeks, so you might have it down now. God said, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, and everyone will proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Philippians 2, verses 10 and 11. Well, I want to show you the craft now. But first, let's say a little prayer. Close your eyes and fold your hands with me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your many blessings. Thank you that you have promised to come and take us back to heaven with you. That you have promised to remake the world. Amen. All right, let's take a look at our craft. And this is what we're going to make today. This is called a windsock or a kite. So this is what it will look like when you first get it. You'll need to color it. And then parents, you'll need some tape to turn it into a tube. It would probably be best to use cardstock to, to copy this, but if you don't have cardstock, regular paper will work too. So after you're done coloring it, go ahead and tape some ribbon, some string, some yarn around the bottom, and then roll it into a tube like that. Put some string on the top. You can go ahead and hang it anywhere, or you can run around and play with it and swing it around. And you can say, hallelujah, Christ is risen, and he is coming back to get us. Thanks, boys and girls, for being with me today. I hope you had a good time. Goodbye.